So before the MBA, I was working in surgery in the National Health Service here in the UK, um, specifically at Adam Brooks and Papworth Hospital, which are two incredible uh, leading academic hospitals in Cambridge. So I've always wanted to do an MBA. It's just always been latent in, in me. I think it's partly, um, you know, it's a North American thing that it's part of our uh, our life cycle and our career that at some point we undertake this kind of journey of um, re investigating our skills. Um, I think within medicine and surgery, it's particularly useful in understanding how um, leadership decisions get made in your organization and how um, they could be made better. People had mentioned the Cambridge MBM to me because it has such a focus on technology and healthcare, just because of uh, what is emergent within Cambridge University and all of the pharmaceutical companies within Cambridge. It, was also appealing for me because I could keep my links with the hospitals and the researchers in Cambridge very live. So it was nice because doing this MBA, I could um, bring together different domains of my life and I could bring interesting people together in a room um, in a way that led to really fascinating um, conversations about research and things I'm interested in. Um, and uh, so that was something that was very unique uh, that I don't think would have happened really um, at most other universities. I think the best thing about the program here is that you really are embedded within the wider university. It's a very holistic experience because the MBA is part of it, but then another part of it is your immersion in the wider university and your college and everything that can bring. So um, I got a lot from that, which I was in no way expecting. The Cambridge uh, experience goes far beyond what we learn just in the classroom. I really wanted to learn more about entrepreneurship because I didn't understand elements like how you build a financial model or how you size a market. And so I went into the entrepreneurship concentration to develop that further. I chose something that would be a stretch and I'm glad I did. So my GCP was uh, basically using my existing knowledge in a new context. I did a um, healthcare M&A project with Jefferies, which is an American investment bank in London. Um, and the focus was on digital therapeutics and digital health. Uh, it was almost, it was interesting because it showed again that when you go where you're scarce, you can bring um, this tremendous resource, which feels like very basic to you, but people really value. One thing which really distinguishes Cambridge University, it's all about putting structure on things that are otherwise formless. And by doing that, you really can quickly um, gain mastery over a project you're doing. Um, the second thing, it's all about data. Um, it's all about using data. How do you collect data? How do you um, harvest important insights from data? The research side with um, all of the science, the technology that's developed here. It's also very true in the MBA. It's very structure driven. It's very data driven. That's, I think, what you really get from a Cambridge degree is that kind of analytical way of um, forming questions and um, putting parameters on um, things so that you can evaluate them pretty um, thoroughly. And I found that trans that's a way of thinking and a polishing of my thinking that's gonna translate to multiple environments having done a degree here.